guys. It is finally getting nice here in Connecticut. It's a little weird today. We've got like full sun, a little bit of clouds. It's like 50 degrees, I think. So of course I'm in my hat, my sweater and flip flops because Connecticut is confusing and has more mood swings than me. Today, we are going to talk about how to prep for your boudoir session. I'm going to talk to my makeup artist a little bit, and we are going to try and give you some tips and tricks and ways to prep. We'll see you inside. We had to today with happening. Are you filming? Apparently, we're hat twins today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> So this is Katie, she's my Hi. makeup artist. We were just trying to take a selfie because we both have hats on today. Embarrassing. <laughs> so we'll just use this. Quick, Katie, oh. how do you prep somebody for boudoir? Oh, so it depends on what kind of skin they have. But generally you want to make sure everything is completely hydrated and um, moisturized, which I love. My skin prep water bomb this stuff's amazing go to sonia roselli beauty you can get your own it is like magic on your face and this is an all-over skin prep you don't need to do anything else except this this is a moisturizer primer hydrator serum all in one and it's fantastic Ooh, that was Inside good your you're like really good at the video <laughs> thing i should just have you on no. my youtube <laughs> no no <laughs> yes, yeah. i'm just like over here filming and like i just look behind me and see my new wall set up it looks so good can we just do a quick little like, like a video thing? Do that thing. Yeah, that. way better at video than me and I wish she stuck around but after our session she is running up to do another crazy makeup look because she's phenomenal so I let her go but I do firmly agree with her moisturizing the skin is going to help make a huge difference editing is a big part of this and when your skin is looking a little bit more flawless you get your pictures faster ah the other thing I want to go in depth about is I really want to talk a little bit more about hydration and I want you to really think about what you're putting into your body. So drinking lots of water is always a positive thing. About a month or so before, I always say drink a couple extra glasses. This will help even out the skin tone a little bit. This will help clean the skin and empty out those pores a little bit. And that is super important too because you're going to have a little bit more glowy, dewy, fresh skin. And that's exactly what we want. Glowing, goddess, soft looking skin. And drinking water will easily bring you there. Number three. So this is the most important thing because girls don't realize how much work shooting and modeling is. You're gonna be bending and moving and using a lot of different muscles that you don't normally use. So I suggest some yoga poses, downward dog, puppy pose. A lot of these things are gonna help stretch and release that lower back muscle so that you can get that nice little booty arch on it. And this is perfect and ideal for boudoir because we are doing a lot of similar poses with it. Once you are stretched and your back is ready to go, the poses will be a lot more comfortable for you. You'll be able to settle into them a little bit more. And of course, you'll be able to make them a little bit sexier as you go too. So keeping that little bit of a back arch is always gonna be something good, but stretching beforehand is a plus. And then like after the session, you can take a Motrin and like maybe have a glass of wine or have a glass of wine, maybe not both, but you'll thank me because the next day after you will not be nearly as sore. And yes, you do get sore from it. It's a lot of work. A couple of silly quick things too that you can fix. You always wanna make sure that your hands and your feet are looking pretty. If you are not a polished person, just clean them up a little bit. Maybe cut back the cuticles, remove any dead skin. If you are full on glam girl, go get those nails done, get those toes done. You use a lot of it in posing and a lot all over your body. So make sure that your nails are done, looking nice, fresh and clean and uh, nothing weird is happening underneath with color or strange skin looseness. It's a good way to ruin a photo by like being pretty lips and your hands are man hands like mine. Just not pretty. You also wanna make sure that you are a little bit more 
landscaped, I guess I'll say. Tidy up any loose ends that you don't want seen. If you are full force loving yourself how you are, then rock it. But we are gonna be focusing in a lot of different weird poses and stuff, so tidy it up if you feel like you need to. All right guys, so if you are following me, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe below. If you just stumbled across me, hit that little bell. I don't know what corner it's in. I'm still new to this YouTube stuff. But I wanna make sure that if you're following me, you are following me and you are getting notified. I will be posting a lot more videos coming up, hopefully some more really awesome ones soon. And I'm gonna be getting a lot more people in here and more models and going through a little bit more of my studio. So I'll see you guys next time and uh, yeah, have fun. Still working on the tagline or the exit line. Whatever, I'll see you later, bye. Praise to you models, you know? It's harder than it looks.